Hey everybody, welcome back to BDGC. Josh here, and I'm doing a little nine hole challenge video. We are at Carson Newman uh, College in uh, Jefferson City, Tennessee. Played this course once or twice, five or six years ago. Uh, never filmed here, so just gonna do a little nine hole mic'd up round. As you can see, uh, it's kind of hard to find the T areas from what it looks like online, so most mostly just show off this course a little bit a little nine hole course in jefferson city tennessee we did drive by and see that some of the baskets are not in the best of shape but uh that's it uh thanks for watching as always please click like subscribe comment share this video with your friends and help promote disc golf in your area all right hole one here i'm not too sure of the distance unless you just tells me i wanted to show you there are markers on the ground there so uh, I don't know if they're all here, but uh, I'm basically going by what UDISC tells me here. It says 210 feet. So uh, I know it sounds silly me going with a driver, but this is literally the first time I've played in a while. So I'm just going to swing this out wide, big wide hyzer, and try and sweep it in towards the basket. It's on the right there. I think that's okay. I'm not sure to BH. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to see if I can find my Kahoo XG. We're on a big hyzer. Just wanted to inform you that a few days ago, I failed to take my allergy pill, which is unfortunate this time of year, obviously. Um, so if you do hear a little bit of, a little bit of sniffling, a little bit of sneezing and wheezing it's because of that i don't have the vid okay so looks like i landed right over here got me a putt for a two let's see what we can i do sorry that was horrible all right a little bit of headwind put a little nose down spin it and make it Starting with a two, feels good. Thanks, basket. All right, hole two here. Um, it looks like on the map, it's right here on this little concrete area. Basket's way down there. So uh, we're gonna go with the Pekka Pekka, brand new mold, new in the bag. Flip. Flip, 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 flip. No, nope, didn't flip. That's probably gonna be a three. Darn. All right. Yeah? Oh. Uh, before I get too far, huge thank you to Amanda, my lovely lady, for filming this for me. Landed right here by Smokey the Bear, as you see. Uh, a little too far out to make, so I'm gonna give it kind of a half, half go situation. Just see if we can float it up there near it. Or let it hyzer out and now I've got a 40 foot putt to save part. Whichever works. All right, I've got a little closer than I thought, but try and putt and make this for the par save. Woo, thank you basket for catching that. We did have a little chipping sparrow in the basket here. He flew up in there. So still one down, let's go on to hole three. If we can find it. Hole three is uh, it says 270 something on the U disc, so it's right straight up through there. I'm gonna be going with the Pekka Pekka again. I'm literally throwing this as far as I throw my distance driver, so we'll see if I can get it up there to it. I'm not really feeling it this morning. Morning, it's like five o'clock. A little bit of flip, but not quite enough. I might have a putt for a two, we'll see. All right, so as you can see, I landed directly under the bench. This is unfortunate, so I'm gonna take a foot here and give it a little half go like I did on the left. And then, 
I would be silly not to do this. Literally closer while sitting down. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but this basket's singing. I've seen better days. Whatever that. Who is that? Chumba Wumba or something? I don't know. Poor baby. All right. Uh, still one down. I think four's across the street, so we're going to go over there. Okay, hole four as the alarm system on someone's car goes off. So you can see it. Can you see the basket from the camera? It's right through there. I'm going to take my understable kiwi, throw it on some hyzer, try and get it to flip up right above those benches over there and get in the open. We'll see. Ooh. All right. Missed it. Ooh. Looks like I'm gonna have to flick. That sucks. All right. You ready? Okay. This is gonna be a weird little upshot over the, under the ceiling, over the tables, and under the tree over there. I'm gonna be flicking my Magma Soft Kia. God, I love that disc. All right, tap this one in for my par. Magma Soft Tui's for the win. All right, everybody. So just doing a little bit of overdub and commentary here because the mic uh, actually cut out on hole five here. So just showing off hole five here as Amanda pans over there. Uh, I'm going with my Kahu XG. It's uphill hole. I think it was about uh, 250 or so, but it was uphill. So I'm doing like a just a hyzer over these little trees here, trying to get it up near the basket up there. It's right behind that pole. I was asking for it not to hit that pole, and it did get around it, and looks pretty good. So we may have lost a little audio there, the little receiver cut off. Uh, sorry if it did. Um, this drive actually got a lot closer than I thought it did. So, got a putt for two, we'll see what happens. Putting on my Magma Soft Tui's. Bring it down slow, a little spin. Yes, oh my gosh, I thought it was gonna fall through. So, two down through five. Watch this. That didn't go in at all. All right, just in case audio cut out on the last hole, shout out to uh, my buddy Steve Frank who gave me this RPM Discs bag here, as you can see. It's got him on the back, so huge thank you to Steve Frank, who's also on RPM team, so great ambassador for the sport. Probably half of you that are watching this video know Steve. So. Um, as I said in the intro, it's kind of hard to find the spots here, but going by U-Disc, we're standing on the T right now. I don't see why we'd be going over benches, but this is what we're doing now, so that's what it says we're on the T, so here we go. That should be pretty good. Might be short again. Could be a downhill putt for two. We will find out. All right, so I did land a little closer once again than I thought. Got a putt for the two. I'm Magma Soft Tui. Got the Tui. <laughs> Sorry, it was horrible. So three down through six holes. So hole seven. Yes. Here is. Uh, Looks like the longest one on the course, honestly. I'm gonna go with this Pekka Pekka again. This is the star of the show to this evening. By the way, it was a great day to wear a suit of cotton, I will say. Nice summer day. Um, I think I'm gonna go try and go low underneath, maybe like kind of around this little tree here, and then try and get it to flex back. See if we can get some distance on this one.
Oh man, it's so perfect. It's gonna be so perfect, but it hit those little lambs. That's exactly the line I was going for, but uh, just hit a little bit of cabbage. I'm ready and it's green. You're green. All right, so this basket is baroque. I don't know if you can see that. It's in horrible shape, but I got, you can't see here, but I got a little bit of headwind coming at me. So I need some stability. So I'm gonna go with my Magma Soft Kia again. Just try and get around up there and sit beside it. That was short. Do you see this basket right here? So I would not say this is the best shape of a basket I've ever seen. So. Honestly, it's probably impossible to make this. So if I just hit chains, I'm counting that as a putt made. So here we go. A little bit of headwind again. All right, let's just try and hit the chains and count this uh, three and go on. Oh, well, that's gonna be low anyway. So this is a four. That was sweet. Hey, it still catches. All right, that's a four, so back to two down. Unfortunate. Sorry, basket's in bad shape. All right, hole eight here. Um, it's like 270. We'll be going to this kahu again. Just a little hyzer. Get around the corner there. Try and throw it in the basket. Probably not, but here we go. It's gonna be close, actually. Ooh. Should be a putt for it, too. I do kind of want to try one more. This Pekka Pekka. The little turnover here. This would be nice. Whoa, my. Hello, then. All right. Oh, that didn't. Okay, it kind of did, but. All right. Let's go putt for it, too. Hopefully. All right, so I landed in a pretty good spot. This definitely should be a two. Here. Tap, tap, tap it in. For as you can see, this says 17 and eight here, so apparently there's like two T locations here. I am unaware of where any of them are, so this is a nine hole video. Um, but you can figure that out for yourself if you come to here. Three down, back to three down, through eight holes. See if we can do the last one, finish out. Four down. I hope I don't get a copyright sack strike for that. Okay, we're on hole nine. Um, last hole, it's like 270. So I'm gonna be going with the Kahu again. It's like past that mag magnolia you see there. Way past that, to the left of that other tree. I don't know what kind of tree that one is, but it's like kind of goes, I want to hide like around the magnolias over there, but past that other tree. So we'll see what we can do. That's a little high. It's gonna be short, but should be like a 50 foot putt, so. Probably a three. All right, I don't know if you can hear that, but I hear a red-bellied woodpecker up in the tree up there. I actually landed closer than I thought once again, so I've got a putt for this to finish four down. All right, that's it for the video. Four down through nine holes. Ooh, look at this. This is not in good condition. I don't know how that happened, but that is going to be it for the video here. Nine holes at Carson Newman College Disc Golf Course, Jefferson City, Tennessee. So, so you saw the baskets are not in the greatest condition, but honestly, not going to lie, it's a pretty fun little track. There's an airplane above me. Don't know if you can hear that. Don't know if you can hear me, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun little course. So if you're in the area, I would not travel here. You're outside of the area but if you're in the area 
come check it out. Most, I won't say most, but say what, six of the brick? We found about six of the bricks. And aside from that, you can find, uh, just pull up your disc and kind of do what I did and just stood from where it shows on there. And that's about as close as you can get to it. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, as always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends and help promote disc golf in your area. And please check out some RPM discs. Um, they are some amazing discs and I absolutely love them. Uh, thank you to RPM for putting me on their team. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Just saying. This is going to be outtake because I hadn't done a review on this yet, but check it out. Brand new Pekka Pekka. We'll try this out here. Glow Pekka Pekka, more overstable. Throw it on some hyzer. And that's, well, shoot. Yeah, that's still parked. All right, let's go. I landed right over here. So this would be right behind the sugar maple here. Another two to start with. All right. I just sit on bird. Oh, I'm just so dynamic. On another latitude, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say Innova. Yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies. God, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.